Okay, now that you're in Canvas, you can see the home screen again. And I am in student view, so you should see just what I'm seeing. It's our home screen with our little quote. Over to the side, we have some to-do lists. Now, these have dates. Now, for A day and B day, they do have different dates since they're due on different times. Um, you'll notice that the drink is due. Um, it should not show up for people that are A day because they did not do the drink. So when you go into the home page, you kind of just see kind of an overview of what's happening. This is our course stream over here of what's going on. And we're going to go to assignments. Now, assignments are where they're going to be listed of what is due. And this is where you will go to submit your work. So you'll notice that everything's laid out here for you very simply. And so let's say you're ready to turn in your appetizer. And your appetizer was the games that you had to play and the three screenshots. So you should already have the screenshots on your computer. So when we go into the appetizer, it will have a button at the top that says submit your assignment. That is how you're going to submit your assignment. So this tells you what you need to upload. You're going to upload your screenshots from the game that you played. You should have three. Okay, and then there's a next button. The next button is going to go as it shows the side dish. Previous would go to any previous um, menu items, and for this one, that is the whole uh, math menu um, directions that were given in a PDF form. So they're on here as well. So we're going to go ahead and submit this assignment. Now I've taken some screenshots, um, some uh, games that I played, so you can see exactly what happens. So we have here. Um, a place where we can choose a file and we're going to choose a file and I save them to my desktop they're here and this might be helpful if you have a lot of screenshots from multiple places make sure you can you can rename screenshots um, to something so you know exactly what they are instead of just a screenshot so I'm going to upload these I can see here what it is this is my pirate one I'm going to open it and you can see here on the screen that it is uploading Okay, I'm going to add another file because for this one I have to have three. So I'm adding another file and again I'm going to choose it. I'm going to choose the next one, make sure it's a different one. And again open it. And then for my final one I'm going to choose my last screenshot and open it. If I have any comments I need to add, this is where I would add them. Maybe I didn't complete all of my assignments, maybe I had trouble with something, anything you want me to know you can put here. Um, please make sure this is appropriate. Okay. Now notice the X is here. If you accidentally load something twice that you weren't supposed to, that you can X out and then reload the correct one. So these X's are just for you to um, delete what you uploaded so in case you made a mistake. So once we have all three, we're going to go ahead and submit assignment. And it takes just a second. You notice they disappear like no files have chosen. They have actually uploaded. And so then when we get back to our screen, it says we have turned them in. And it shows what we have downloaded and what we have turned in. So we can go back at any time and look and say we've turned that in and here they are. So it's a good place for you to keep everything organized. Um, and you don't have to worry about having them in 10 different places. So this one has been uploaded. Now, the neat thing, this calendar here, if you go to your calendar, it will show you what is due. So for this particular one, this is due for this day, for B day. These are the things that are due, or excuse me, this is A day for these um, classes and I've uploaded this one already I've submitted it so now it's marked through so I know that I am done with that one I can actually go to the dessert from here or I can go back to the assignment page okay so it takes me right back to where I was so now here is my dessert now I have another video on the canvas page that shows you how to save your dessert how to save your iMovie and if you don't remember how to do that or if you have not done that yet please make sure that's done first now I have just a little practice movie that I've already done it is not uh, a movie like you were making but it's just like a little snippet to show you how to upload that is on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and submit my assignment. But notice here in the instructions it says upload your iMovie here and indicate your group member names in the comment section under the submission box. We've got to make sure we do that. Only one person in each group needs to upload, but I need to have all members of the group's names in the comments so I know who to give credit for the video too. So we're going to go to submit assignment. We're going to choose a file and again, mine's on my desktop, and it's called a test. I just did a little practice one, so I'm going to choose it, and I'm going to open it. OK, 
okay? It will then connect here into my file chosen. Now, if I needed to do another file, then I could upload it there, but we should only have one movie, so one movie is all that I should need here. So in my comments, I would put my members of my team. Now, you can put your own name if you need to, but it's not really necessary considering you, if you're the one uploading your name, it will come up under your name. So let's just put uh, Bob, oh, let's use proper nouns here, Bob, Sally, and Emma. And so those were the people all in the group, and I'm going to submit my assignment. Notice the file chosen disappears. That doesn't mean that you don't have one connected. It just means that it's taken it into the system. So notice here onto the side again, it's come back. I have now turned in, and it tells me exactly what I've turned in, and I'm on dessert here. I can look on my calendar again, and I can see that now it is checked off, so I know that that has been turned in. Now, for the group members, since they won't be turning in one for dessert, yours, the group members will not disappear because we don't have it but for one person. So I will make an account of what's in the comments. That's why it's so important to put who your group members are um, and that they're credited for that so they get credit for it. Now, we're going to talk about how to submit other assignments or how to get back to our courses. So we have our calendar. We're going back to our courses. Again, we can go to our sixth grade. And if we go to our assignment tab, we can now see all the assignments that are still there. Notice I've turned an appetizer and a dessert and it says not graded yet. That's another way to know that you've already turned that in. Okay. Now also on the home screen, if we go back there for a second, over to the side, we can see our to-do list and we can see our coming up list. That means things are coming up that are uh, assigned, that due dates are coming up. Your to-do list has gotten much shorter now. We only have the drink and the side dish and for a day there is no drink, so just the side dish left to do. And then it shows a little green check mark that I have submitted and when I submitted those, I can click on those and still see those details of what I submitted over to the side here when, and also see my comments. So it's great to be able to um, look and see exactly what I've turned in. It's all in one spot. So hopefully this will help be a little bit more organized for you so you can get all your things in and get all the credit that you need to be successful. Thanks.